Hi, Essen. I'm Azelle from The Upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you today. Congratulations on this fantastic film. Could you start by telling viewers what Celluloid Underground is all about? What can they expect when they watch it? Uh, Celluloid Underground is about a boy madly in love with the movies, but he's living in a, in a country where films, especially classics of cinema and their distribution, is banned. So he hears about this mysterious film collector in Iran, who has collected thousands of 35 mil prints from before the revolution, classics of world cinema. And he goes in search of this man, finds him, and the two of them get together to start an underground cinema tech. That boy is me. And what inspired you? I mean, do you, do you have an actual passion yourself, obviously, for film? Well, it's all in the film. I was five and I found a single frame of a film. And that was the beginning of my passion because I realized I can project it. And with some light, that single frame of 35mm film was coming to life. That was the beginning of the obsession that has that continues to ruin my life. <laughs> Do you have film all over your house? <laughs> I don't, I have now, I keep them in archives, but uh, I'm not a collector, but you know, the obsession with the, with the medium, but also with the materiality of the medium, with, with film objects, that's a very dangerous one. Can you sort of explain the filming process of this? How did you go about filming this feature? The process of making the film was actually going back to the footage I had shot over the course of 25 years. So I was, also obsessive about recording everything. So I have audio recordings and video recordings of many things. So I basically used my own archive, but also relied on film clips, educational films, news, news, any format that you could imagine is in this film. And this is the way I could tell the story, my story, but also the story of that friend of mine, the film collector. And when you look back at this project, now it's finished your film, what are you most proud of? That I actually made it. <laughs> I'm pr because not, Proud is not the right word. I'm freed. I feel I just this is this kind of cinema is this kind of filmmaking is 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 not too easy to do because when it gets too personal, you're walking on a kind of a fine line between self-indulgence and and creating meaningful moving images. So hopefully, hopefully this this film hasn't fallen to the self-indulgence side. That was, uh, that was the, the danger of making the film and that was my mo uh, major concern. And I think now the film's been made and done, I'm freed. <laughs> <laughs> and can you talk about the choice between, you know, using Ek has uh, Wilkes jazz score that accompanies the feature? What was it about that that sort of... I love jazz. So if, uh, if this film is going to be partly about me, even if it's set in 12th century, the score needs to be jazz. So I'm not going to hide it, I'm a jazz boy. And I uh, knew this wonderful musician in Berlin, Eckhard Wilk, superb pianist and composer. And I said, Eckhard, will you compose for the film? And that's exactly what he did. But what is interesting about what we've done with the original score is that it's very uncommon in documentary filmmaking to have every single scene or shot in the film scored like a fiction film. So we scored the film like a fiction film and we also cut the film like a fiction film. And that has added a completely different character to the film. It, uh, it is documentary, of course, but it's a highly stylized documentary, partly because of the wonderful jazz score that we recorded in Berlin and there are some great musicians on it. Oh, it feels like such an amazing passion project for me. I can really hear it in your voice. So what's it feel like to be here at London Film Festival, have your film out there, and what's kind of the reaction been to this so far? I've been coming to London Film Festival for the past 10 years, but in a different capacity as a critic, watching films back to back. So it's wonderful to be back, but this time showing a film. What I absolutely miss is getting to the queues and go watching films with others. And perhaps because of the, the days of coming to London Film Festival, I still haven't managed to just, you know, move around and listen to people and all the nasty things they are going to say about my film. I haven't found a chance yet because I just arrived, uh, I'd returned to London today, uh, but hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> well, I can't think of anything horrible to say uh -huh. about it. It was very good, very interesting actually. So thank you so much for speaking to me. Enjoy your time and I wish you well on it. Thank, thank you, very you very much. much. Thank, thank you. you.